Now we're going to set up a simple website using WordPress. Right now we have a blog set up. So what we're going to do now is change it to a website. Now with website, you're going to want to use pages. Now we already have a home page. Let's go to all pages. And then let's just edit this a little bit. All right, I just neaten that up a little bit. So what we want to do now is use a page structure rather than a blog structure. So again, we would set this to our home page like we did before. Go over to settings, and then we're going to go over to reading, and then we'll go to a static page, which I showed you briefly before. Pick the page and set. Okay, now let's go have a look here now. Now it's perfectly okay to use the posts as pages within your website if you want to do it this way. So you still would have your front page here and then you would have your recent posts and your archives and so on. It's perfectly fine to do a hybrid like this. However, if you want to create a website that isn't attached to a blog, you can do that as well. Okay, so let's go back and just make this into a straight website without the blogging part in there. Okay, so let's go to pages and then we're going to do add new. And now we're going to add an article in here. Okay, now there's not anything to do over here as far as categories and tags are concerned because we don't have them with pages. So let's roll down here. We still have the all-in-one SEO pack here, so we can set all that. Okay, just make sure that this is the way you want it on pages. On a website, you're normally not going to want discussion. Okay, so let's publish. And then I'm going to add one more page. We'll do add new. And I'm going to put another article on here. Okay, so here is our second page. And then again, you can reset whatever you need to within the SEO pack here. And if you want to change a discussion, normally you're not going to want to change a discussion. Okay, so let's publish this one. Okay, now let's go over to the widget area which is in appearance, and widgets. Now, let's go over the secondary menu area. We don't want posts. We don't want archives. We don't want categories. We don't want comments. And we don't want tag cloud because we're not using any of that in a website. We're just using our pages at this point. So now we can move our pages over there. And then we can change the title. Let's say navigation. Okay, and then you have a sort order page title, page order, page ID. And then you can exclude pages. You just got to put their ID in there. But let's just leave that like it is now. Let's go have a look.
Okay, now you'll see down the right hand side now we have navigation and we have our different pages. So let's click on this one, which is our home page. This one is one of our articles. And then this one is the other article. Now you'll notice up in this area, we have them sitting up here too. And this is what's called the menu. So we can have the menu or the sidebar or both. Now it doesn't make sense to have both. So let's go and have a look at the menu now. Let's go up here and go menus. And then you'll see we have menu one. So whenever there's an area for a menu on a theme, you'll see it over here. Now we can take these all off of here, or we could just leave the home page on here. So to take these off, you just go over here. And then what we're going to do is remove. And remove. Okay, now let's click create menu. And now we'll save the menu. Now, I should point out that if you want to move things onto the menu, then you move them over from this side, and then you can move them up and down as well. Now, if we're going to go have a look now, you'll see nothing has changed. I just want to point this out before we go any further. You'll see they're still all here, and that's because we have to go in and tell it where they go. So you'll see here, manage locations. Okay, and then this is your navigation menu and the theme location is assigned menu. So if you have more than one menu position in the theme, you can set it. You'll see them here and then you can set them here. Okay, so let's save. Now when we go look, You'll see that we just have the home page here, and then we have the other pages here. We can take this off by just putting the post number in if we want to exclude that. So let's go back to menus for a second here. Now let's go in here. You'll see you can change the navigation label. So you notice how a lot of these are really long. We could change the label to shorten it up if we wanted to use the navigation menu on top instead of using the widget on the side. Okay, so there is an example of how you can create a website using WordPress. Now you'll see that I still have a comment box on here. So let's edit this page. And then what we're going to do is we're going to remove that. And that's because I created the page before I changed the options. So if you change the options first, uh, under discussion and settings, then you won't have to go and change them if you forgot to do it beforehand. Okay. So now if I go look at this page, There you have it. There's no discussion bar on the bottom. Okay, so that's a simple website. Next, we're going to go over how you can create a squeeze page and thank you page.